President of the Trinidad and Tobago Scrap Iron Dealers Association, Alan Ferguson, is calling for a meeting with Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley to plead the industry's case for the lifting of the ban on the export of scrap metal. Here's Terry and Brown Campbell with the details. More than 14,000 families across the country will be negatively affected by government's decision to ban the export of scrap metal for the next six months. This is the word from President of the TNT Scrap Iron Dealers Association, Alan Ferguson. Mr. Ferguson adds he hopes government will reconsider the ban. I am asking you all for a meeting that we can be able to see this to stop this problem. Please, Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Short Young, you as the chairman of the subcommittee, and we are asking you for a public a meeting. Noting the industry generates over $260 million annually from its exports, Mr. Ferguson says the six-month ban will mean a loss of over $130 million to the local economy. He called on workers across the country to join his association in demonstrating their non-support for the ban. It's a rally from Brian Laria Stadium to Strait and Port of Spain, and I am asking you all, Please support us. This is a tax on poor people. Government imposed the export ban last Friday in response to numerous incidents of vandalism and theft of copper and other materials from sites across the country. These acts of vandalism led to disruptions in internet services, mobile services, and water supply across the country. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTT News.